right down in the muddy grass. It's okay, it's not like I'm allergic to grass or anything. Hey guys, welcome to Life is Fun. Thanks for following me. It's such a beautiful day outside. I decided to come out, but as soon as I came out and turned on that uh, camera, the sun hid behind a cloud. That's okay, it's still pretty. I have a few updates for you guys. One, I found a cat and I named him Shiro. Hey, you want to say hi to the camera? Shiro is uh, white in Japanese. And honestly, I was just calling him Shiro because I didn't know what to call him yet. And I was thinking I was going to come up with a name. It just kind of stuck. So now it's Shiro. He's very loud. He's very not scared of people. And uh, Rosie very much hates him. <laughs> Rosie's my other, my, my cat. My meat cat. She's been with us for 18 years and still acts like a kitten. That's my 18 year old. But yeah, she rules the place, so he's not allowed to go anywhere that she doesn't allow him. But she tolerates him, so he still keeps coming around. Update. I'm planning on changing Life is Fun around a little bit so that we can get five minute videos. Uh, this means the Life Talk is going to be just like my vlog. So if you guys are interested in what's going on in my head, it's a very scary place. But you know, if you want to brave it, go ahead, watch those videos. We'll have Life Features, which will be those mini five minute videos like the Life Talk number four. Uh, downtown Greensburg, which featured three different places, Cheesecakes by Alex, uh, the Loaf, the Loaf Bakery, and uh, Ambleside Art Gallery. I'm going to do more little mini features of places around Greensboro and other places that I see, like if I go to High Point, stuff like that. Then third, it's going to be Life is Fun, the official Life is Fun videos. Those will probably be anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes long. This is because they are kind of like mini documentaries. Um, they're where I interview different people and like uh, Robert Wagner who was the producer for Ragged East. Uh, if you haven't checked that out yet, check it out. Ragged East is amazing. It's an incredible movie and he's an incredible man. The very first Life is Fun video that I ever did with Connie Hubbard and her soapsies, these trinkets that she made out of plastic bags really awesome. She's still absolutely fabulous. You should check her out. And if you and if you saw stuff like uh, Life is Fun with Bookbinding, when I went to the Renaissance Festival and got to actually learn how to bind a book, a French style Coptic binding, to use the words that are <laughs> his words for it. I understand each one of those words individually. It's a little bit different putting them all together, but that's okay. It was very fun. I loved it. I, the, the man knew me from nowhere and still let me do the video. So, fabulous times with cameras. Those will be the Life is Fun videos. If you see anything I put in the Life features, and you're like, I want to see a bigger feature on this, like Cheesecakes by Alex, since apparently a lot of people said, I'm going to Cheesecakes by Alex now. They said they tried it out, they loved it, it's awesome. And that made me happy because my video brought business to one of my favorite places. So that, that you know, that encourages me. It makes me happy because I want you guys to enjoy the places that I enjoy. So yeah, if you're like, hey, do a feature on that, let me know. Put it in the comment section or find me on Facebook because I'm easy to find on Facebook and it's not like I, like I don't really hate anybody. You friend me and I'm like, all right, that was my second update. My third update for you guys is where we're going in the future. Life is Fun is actually getting bigger now. I have a crew of people, by which I mean about four others, <laughs> which is a crew. Four people is a crew to me. They're a professional cameraman, an editor, and sound equipment and stuff like this to do full-fledged documentaries. So we are starting with a mini documentary about Bass Reeves. Now those who do not know about Bass Reeves, he is amazing. He was actually the inspiration for the Lone Ranger, but we made the Lone Ranger white because of the time period. Bass Reeves is a black man. He made over 3,000 arrests, and all those arrests, those court cases, are kept in our files. So even though we didn't keep any official records of black people during that time, 
we had to keep all those records of the arrests he made. He made over 3,000 arrests. He only killed 14 people, and he only pulled his gun on 14 people. So that says something. He never got wounded. He never got shot. One day he got a hole blown through his hat, and he got a button blown off. That's it. Amazing guy. This guy's a beast. All right. If you want to know what a beast is, if you want to know what a boss is, it's Bass Reeves. You're not like a boss. You're like a bass. Does that make any sense? That sounds like a fish. Like a Reeves? We'll figure something out. We'll come up with a new meme. All right. Love you guys. Keep following us. Look forward to our trailer. It should be coming out soon, within just a couple weeks. Um, be on the lookout. Bass Reeves is, a, is phenomenal. Uh, if you want to get on board or have any information about him that you know, uh, please let me know. I found a, a couple museums, um, or a museum, that has him. Should have been in Oklahoma, but it moved over to Arkansas, so we're probably going to try and get a trip over to Arkansas. We want to go to Washington, D.C. and see where he got, he got sworn in. He's got, the paper is still in Washington, D.C., where he signed in as a Deputy U.S. Marshal. Absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing man. So, that's all for now, folks. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Life is fun. Thank you for your support. Love life, people.